Lizzie Bird, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake. In today's episode, we are continuing our adventure by talking to Can Cassandra after, of course, we got the Wild West Jellyfish Fields SpongeBob, completed. I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. All right then, so let's talk to planting about the chum bucket, which has been knocked over, poor guy. It really is the only restaurant because Krusty Krab is not here anymore. So let's go help out Plankton. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. <laughs> okay, so use the bubble surfboard to reach the button. How do I do that? Uh, is this what you call help? Sorry. Okay, so I guess I have to go over. Oh, I see it up there. It's very translucent, of course, with it being a bubble. So it can be a little bit difficult to spot, but we'll get up here and ride the surfboard. Whoa, this is so cool. Awesome, so I'll grab that one. I guess I can, oh, oh no, was I supposed to spin? I thought I could just crash into them, not quite. So I'll run back over really fast. We'll break one of these two. We can get some extra uh, bubbles and stuff or jelly. It's always good. Okay, try that again. Oh yeah, so I can spin while I'm riding one of these. Whoa, okay, well maybe it wasn't quite good enough though. Gotcha, so maybe run alongside of it. I'm learning, I'm learning. With each attempt, we're figuring it out a bit more. So let's try that again. There we go. I wanna go alongside them. Don't wanna just run straight into them, so just spin like that, and boom, we did it. Raise the chum bucket completed. We got that thing nice and fixed. Yeah, I've never been in here before, but since the crusty crab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the chum bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> oh no. Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the chum bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? I guess not, but uh, can I talk to you again? What's up with the little flag? Hey, Giggle Buddies, both of you listen closely. I managed to track Spot's trails, but they are scattered everywhere and are leading to all of those portals. Wow, Spot is really going places. I said listen! You have to look for him in all of those worlds you're going to. You're the only one that can bring him back. Don't worry, Plankton. We'll look everywhere for him until he's back home safely. Good. Now out of my sight. So I guess I have to look for Spot. Find Spot's hiding spot. Gotcha. Okay. So they'll look all over for our little buddy. Hi, Karen. Time to get back to business as usual. Thank you, SpongeBob. Anytime, anytime. Could talk to you, old man Jenkins? I guess not. So hopefully we can enter Chum Bucket soon. But for now, let's just talk to Can Cassandra. Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. To create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. All right, whoa, look at us. Ready for some karate. <laughs> My karate gear, the most stylish outfit I own. Oh, and it's another little seahorse. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. Awesome. Be much bumpier too. Yeah. For you. So, so we're ready to fight. Maybe we'll run in the sand in today's episode. Be able to sort of. Squidward would make, right? Oh yes, I think he called them. What was the word? Art. What? Well, well, where am I going? Samantha. 
Huh, so this is pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of places to go right now. Hmm, I, I guess I'm just gonna enter the portal over this way. Maybe we'll explore more of uh, Bikini Bottom later, and maybe now we should just focus on entering the portal. I can finally put my black belt to good use. And all this time, I've been using it as a scarf. And they, we've talked to them hope. before. SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way. All right, here we go. Find the new portal. Travel to the new world. So last time we had Wild West. What do we got this time? I'm so excited to find out. I guess something karate themed, right? I guess we'll see in just a moment. Whoa. Oh, hey, it's a limo. Here we Ooh, are. Now I know why they call them stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. Ooh. You think Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel, but uh, what do I know? Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. <laughs> okay, we can't go back this way. The, the bouncers are stopping us, but look at this place. It's so cool. I just want to jump up Ooh, here if jelly. I can. Just like that. Oh, okay, I didn't quite do that well. So instead of having this little bubble blower, we're just doing like little karate chops, which is great. So let me try to get up to this one then if it lets me. I don't know if I can make that jump though. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I can. Maybe I need to get like a different kind of jump or something. Weird. Either way, I think we're gonna do fine, even if we don't get this. Oh, these guys are back. Oh no, that's right, they explode. And then, oh hey, it's Pearl. Hi, I Pearl. I have to admit, totally would have expected someone bigger for the part, but everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous. Film is starting one minute and fifty-eight seconds. Uh, no, fifty-seven. Uh, skip down. Fifty-five. Just hurry up. <laughs> Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind or the understanding kind or the kind kind. All right, here we go. What is with that poster in the background? So I guess this is like a big film debut. Go on, follow the red carpet and stay out of the crowds. We're on the red carpet, we got... I can't believe this is the leading man. Okay, I was gonna say countless of adoring fans, but they don't really seem so happy about us. What is with the Squidward, uh, love story? Do I look floated enough? I just had myself inflated. <laughs> and there's also Kraz, his little movie with Pearl in it. And what about this one? So close to get the formula. <laughs> I like all these movies, I wanna see them. Oh, and there's a... This is a no-go zone. The stars get cranky without their me time. Guess all right, so one, that was Laird the Lobster over there, hanging out with the paparazzi. We're just gonna work our way around then. No problem, no problem. Ooh, I'll break those out. Sort of hurt me too, though. Hi, Larry, can I talk to you? Sign my bicep, sign it! Whoa, Larry's gonna need you to bulk up before he signs that. Larry, can I get your autograph? <laughs> Sorry, Larry doesn't sign his own signature. Larry doesn't seem to do much. All right then, so we'll move out this way. Enter the sponge. Oh, maybe that's the movie we're in right now. All right, this cool. Is a restricted zone. No All right, so we'll break our way through here, and what do we got going on in, behind the curtain? We can bounce over like this, no problem. And what, oh yeah, it's Squidward one again. Interesting. Seems like there's a lot of places to go. Ooh, but back over here. We can break these open and get a ton more jelly. So we're supposed to be going that way. I have like a hook thing. I can't really do anything with that, but what's up with the bubble? That's also a different little secret thing. There's a lot to like sort of figure out around here that I can't wait to get to. Not gonna want to see there either, but at least hit that, ex out, explode some of that, and go this way. So we'll definitely have to return to areas with new abilities. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sp what are you still doing here? Please go to the exit or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. All right, let's go through here then and find the director. This is so cool, so we're behind the, the scenes a little bit here. Oh, and these are like the trailers and stuff too, so this is where all the actors are. Who is that? We got a bathtub. Uh-oh. They're very strong. I'm, I'm a little confused on what they're up to though. Oh boy, that is one big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, you'll be fine. What if we have to go into that cage though? I guess I'll have to wait and see. For right now though, we can't get past them. Oh, who's this? 
Hi, are you the director? No, just a film crew. Okay. Still plenty of jellies to get, so I'm just trying to get whatever I can. Go. And I think, there we go, that finally exploded. I keep getting hurt by them because I jump at the wrong time. Need some underwear soon. But we'll get over here, grab some of that. And where are we headed to? Oh, here's the underwear. I guess I'm trying to get up, I think we're trying to go into the cage. Oh boy, that might be a little dangerous, but we'll figure it out. Oh no, the cage is over there. Gotcha. Oh, there's some goo down this way, gotta watch her jump. And I think I can just, if you touch these things, they activate and they'll start to explode. Just like that, we can get all the jelly out of it. Sort of weird, I don't really know entirely where we're after, just over this way, I suppose. So, let's turn some of these guys into bubbles and do away with them. I might wanna get back up there. I can actually use the tiki things to get around, which is always super nice, but. Whoa, we got a trophy. Bubble the trouble. That's cool. So, I guess it's just for throwing the bubbles at enough enemies, we get that one. Always nice to see. They are really trying to get me over there. Uh oh. Okay, come on. Let's get over here. Yeah, okay, and then I missed some stuff over this way too. So I wanna get as much jelly as possible. So just trying to grab what I can wherever. And then we can get back over there. But I like how different of a world this is compared to the Wild West one. Hopefully that means that we'll just be able to find tons of new stuff with each area that we go to. Going over here, I'm gonna try to bubble them again, but I guess I don't need to, we call that. There we go, we got you good. Right over here. And I guess through this door. Oh no. You mean that big mean looking guy that won't stop looking at us? Great. This might turn out bad. Let's see. We're gonna fight them. Uh oh. They are big, they're mean, and they're ready to tussle. We gotta make sure we dodge when they start swinging that bathtub. There we go. Hit them once. Can I hit them again? Ooh. So only when they maybe slam the bathtub or something? Uh oh, I don't have much health here, so I'm trying to be careful. Uh oh, come on. It's not on me, huh? Oh, poor SpongeBob, I'm sorry. It didn't really go very well. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do damage to them anymore. There must be some point where they're like a little weak or just like vulnerable or something. So let's try this again. Maybe if I throw the bubble at them, that will actually do something. Here. And then I'll swing out of the way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. When they're doing that move, probably, right? No. Hold on. There's gotta be something I can do here. So they're gonna start swinging. And then he's dizzy. Hold on, hold on. Gotcha. That's much better. All right, come on over here, big guy. Oh, no, oh, no. So when he's doing this move, I don't think we can do too much to him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe when it's stuck. Ah, darn. Definitely a tricky guy so far. I'm just gonna go again, I dodge that one though. And then when he's stuck like that, there we go, much better. I'm starting to figure it out. Definitely using the evade button is super important. Like that, and then he's stuck, and I finally got him, there we go. Cool, so we can slam this button, and that'll open up the director's door. Oh, there's a lot more there. So maybe there's not quite the director's door, but at least the door to the next area. That must taste pretty good. Okay. Oh, is that a silhouette of Sandy? That's cool. Look at those cameras. And those cameras. Oh, and that guy even has a headset on. We must have traveled into the distant future. I think it's just a movie set, Patrick. Ooh. Then where's the craft services table? I'm hungry. And there's gotta be a green room somewhere around here, right? Nice little snack table or something. Oh, maybe right over there. There it is! We found it, Patrick. Here you go, dig in. Looks like we got some snacks and stuff. Slice of pizza, cake. Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? Whoa. He's got vision, SpongeBob. That's so cool, so I guess uh, Squidward's directing this movie. What's going on in here, though? It's a paparazzi. They're trying to sneak in easy photos of the movie when it's being produced. I see what they're up to. Interesting. So let's try to break some of this stuff up. We're supposed to be going into our position here. 
which is where exactly? This film's gonna be Maybe right here? No? So the director, maybe we just need to talk to them. So hi, Squidward. Directing a movie, I see, very esteemed. What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? Oh no, he's not being very nice. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at nine, uh, eight, seven, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. In the and don't walk out of frame. I don't know what happened there. School was talking, but I guess we need to battle a bunch of guys. Whoa, this is cool. Defeat the enemies. All right, let's go for it then. Uh. Whoa, and the, the screen's sort of moves by itself too, which is a little weird to get used to. But so far we're bringing it to them. Whatever enemies, ow, might show up. I wish we could have gotten like a health refill or something. That would have been nice. So I'm down to one health already, but maybe we could pick up a couple along the way. I'll try to be extra careful. There's one, Patrick. No, oh, come on, it didn't count because it was too far off. All right, Patrick, I appreciate the attempt, but if you could bring it a little closer next time, that'd be great. So now I'll be able to start with a fresh set of health, though, which is a little bit better, right? That's a little bit more fair. So let's run up there and I guess just try it again. Here we go. All right, take two. I'll take 5,003. All right, this is so cool, though, that we get to be in a movie. So we can't run too far one way or the other. We need to be very careful just to stay in frame. He lost his pants. Okay. These guys, right? Gotcha. They actually didn't lose I'm just now noticing they're all in their underwear. It's a little embarrassing. Okay, here comes some more. The bubble you, or not, the bubble didn't work. We're keeping up pretty well this time. Oh no. Got it. Ready? Oh, I keep missing the bubble. Okay, definitely need to bubble you. Come on, gotcha, and gotcha. All right, so far so good. Really showing these bad guys what's what. Can I slam on this? I didn't do anything. I do have some underwear if I need it. Here's some extra health, but don't quite need it at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna leave some of that stuff. And where exactly are they? I don't wanna get too mixed up here. Okay, SpongeBob, go, go, go. Ah, uh, I'm making it, I'm making it. Gotta jump through here. The camera's starting to move really quick now. Oh no, oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, come on, SpongeBob, move. You got it, you got it. All right. Uh oh. That's not good. Let's get rid of you. Do that one. He's gonna try to hit us, but then we just get that one, no problem. That was a good chunk of them defeated. I think we will just. I don't think I'm supposed to hit the civilians. I gotta be careful here. Whoa! Hold on. Oh man. Okay, I, I'm hitting some of them. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter too much. Oh, there's a coin up there. Sticky sweet. Oh no, it got me. Man, the screen moves really quick there. That's a shame. So I'll have to try that again because there's a big coin I want to get for sure. I think there's one of the balloons, right? So let me give that another go. Okay, so I think I made it again. Here we go, here we go. And boom, I was able to get the balloon. There we go, so making it a little bit far this time. I wonder if that'll be the only one or if there'll be others later on. Just gotta make sure that we don't go too far. Okay, Squidward, I'm doing what I can now. Let's pick this guy up and then we'll go for the bubbled one. Right over here. Gotcha and gotcha. Pretty cool. Uh oh, another big guy. Great, great. Let's just try to dodge it then as much as we can. Ooh, that was close. Right here, gotcha. So we're, we're a little bit more used to fighting these guys now for sure, so it should make it better. And then as soon as it gets stuck. There you go. Come on, let's go for another one. Oh, that got me, that got me. Ah, okay, I dodged it, but I need more. Luckily, they give you a bunch of health for this, so you're gonna start spinning. Ah, and once you're all dizzy, we finish you off. Very cool. Okay, now we can go and talk to Cassandra somewhere? Huh, hey, there's Cassandra. Why are you stuck in a bubble? Wow, 
what a beautiful bubble! I want to pop it! You can't! It is indestructible magic thanks to the jelly you're collecting from my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the Jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the Jelly whispered that you've done some... commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra! All right, so let's get to acting then. Return to the director. We're so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. I sure hope so. Um, I guess we'll have to see how that unfolds. But for right now, we need to just focus on talking to our director friend. There's a lot of stuff to do around here, it seems, though. Just a lot of little extra stuff to grab. Patrick is guiding me this way. And I guess this is actually how we get over to the director. I just wanna make sure we're exploring some of the other stuff. If I can find something like another doubloon, that's always a good opportunity, right? I have a feeling that, oh no, we'll have to return to all these areas eventually anyway, so I'm not sweating it too much when it comes to finding everything. I'm guessing we just won't find everything on the first one through. That happens, it's totally fine. Anyways, we'll go through here and got more of these cool posters with Squidward and stuff. I think we wanna make our way up here, just like that. Good. And then these two, ready? Gotcha. And ooh, karate, <laughs> karate. I guess we're supposed to go over here to the side. We're back in another little alleyway. Oh no, they're shooting at me. Not good. But there's definitely some extra stuff over the here. Grab pizza is the pizza for you and me. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad SpongeBob is having fun. We will. Oh, so what is with the slingshot? I still can't use that, but I'm so so curious. So hopefully that's an ability we unlock soon. Because of course last episode we unlocked the ability to um see horses and stuff. So I gotta guess that every area we, we get something new. Anyways, with all of that figured out, we got a couple more over here. I can break open. And then we can get all the way back up there. I guess for right now we need to, yep, inflate that. Once again, Patrick is pointing at something. I mean, we got here. If I wanted to a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. <laughs> this is a karate film. But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick. Ooh, okay. How to karate kick. So we jump and press triangle to do the karate kick. Let's go back to the game and give it a shot. So I guess whenever we're near a balloon, that is so cool. To really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now kick down that door and get moving. So I guess anything that has that little karate kick symbol. Kick things off. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, anything that has that karate kick symbol, we can karate kick. Pretty easy to figure that out, right? So we're right around looking for things like that. And at the least, we can Ooh, find ourselves another golden spatula. That's our second one that we found. The game hasn't really told us what those will do quite yet, I don't think. So I'm really curious about it. That's a good word. Now, to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero. Okay, we already heard that one. We don't need to hear it again. Let's jump through here and boom, got it. So up to the rooftop is where we're trying to get to. Seems like there's a couple ways of doing that. I wish I could sort of hit those things with the bubbles to make it a little bit easier. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. Yeah, there was just another way to get around. So we'll jump over, try to kick that one. That was really good. That'll explode. And we can combo them. So we've just gotten a whole lot more maneuverable, at least in some situations. Whoa, and we can maybe karate kick enemies. I think I need to jump first. Supposed to be up there, but What's up here? Not really too much, okay. So, jump, kick, got it. Sticky sweet. But these enemies seem to boom, we can use them to get around super duper easily. And a couple more, ooh, down here. 
almost at 4,000 jelly. So I definitely wanted to look at the shop and try to buy some things later in today's episode. Didn't get the chance last time, mostly because we were busy just getting started in the game and stuff. But look at our combos right now, just going left and right all over the place, getting these guys no problem. Uh-oh, that one didn't work out too well. I guess it got too high up. But I do agree, I hope we do find Sandy soon. We can just really tear these guys up, even you way over here. Like I said, getting around is gonna be easier than ever. I will try to, I think we gotta wait it out just a little bit, but then I can, like that. What's cool is that you get your second jump back after you karate kick. Whoa, what's going on down there? These are new enemies. Uh-oh. Ah! Sort of creepy. These little ones look quick and hungry. Yeah, we got that in common. Not the quick part. I think we'll need that part to get past them. Oh, no, not these guys again. You karate kicked them out of my darn sack, would you? Yeah. I'm working on it, so if we karate kick them, that makes some sort of... No more chafing. I guess a little bit okay. confused, and then we can just hit them just like that. So let's go for you, karate kick you, knock you out of the way. Not too bad. There's more enemies coming in though, so let's deal with them one out however way we can. Like you over here. Gotcha. Oh, here comes some more. But it looks like they also get a little confused if they hit the wall. Got it, got it, okay. Oh no, some paparazzi problems. We'll look for that in just a moment. I'm just sort of taking a peek around. This is a cool little Sweet. set, for sure. Can I get over there, I wonder? I don't think so. I think that's just sort of some background element. So we'll karate kick our way through this door. I need to find some health soon, for sure, though. Hmm. Seems like I can never find health right when I need it. It's usually all around the place when I don't need it too much. But. Oh, hey, it's uh, Pearl again. Hi, Pearl. Hey, short yellow and spongy. There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process, which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque. Ah, okay, that scared me. Uh, uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Find the hidden paparazzi. Um, that really threw me off. We gotta find the hidden paparazzi and just have them take pictures of us, I guess? Okay, we have one right here. Hi there, can I do something? Uh, whoa, wait, are we supposed, oh, okay. I guess it's gonna flash a lot. Okay, whoa! <laughs> okay, we're doing a lot of silly moves here. I like it, I like it. And there we go, we got it. A little dabble do ya. So, let's get over here. And I think there's some door we could have karate kicked over there. But we're up here, we might as well just make our way over like this. It seems like there's a lot of ways to get around. Maybe I'll get over to that one first since we're up here. I wonder if I can beat them in any order, or do I have to do them? In order it says, now I can get up here on top of the coffee, coffee store. Hi. Uh, so I guess more of the same. Lots of pictures, lots of pictures. I guess these will go in like magazines and websites and stuff like that. SpongeBob's gonna be famous. That's two out of five. And let's see. Trying to get to, you know, the more difficult ones to find first. Just, you know, make it a little bit more convenient for me. Uh, oh, and there's something up there. That's a golden underpants. I didn't even see that. Hold on, I'm very curious. Can we get back up there? Hmm. Okay, let's do this paparazzi on the floor first, because I want to check out the golden underwear. I've never seen those. All right, hello. Uh, All right. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, this is very surprising. Okay, so <laughs> doing this pose again is very silly. And that's everything, cool. They seem happy, they're happy, I'm happy. Also, 
breaks up some, break up some of these. But yeah, I wanna go back real quick, because what is that golden underpants about, you know? Very, very curious. So I think that was up here a little bit, but then over here. So if I were to maybe just jump, jump, glide, kick, what is this? That should cover my butt. Ooh. Wait, did that give us an extra level of health? Yeah, before I think we only had four, now we have five. That's so cool. So definitely a worthwhile upgrade to grab. Anyways, with three out of five paparazzi out of the way, our fourth one is winning for us just around this corner. So we'll walk over there real fast. And, oh wait, you're in the trash can? Why are you in there? That doesn't seem safe. Ouch. Oh, you know what, I see what we gotta do. We need to maybe break through this door again. Then if I could get up here. Oh, I didn't even do that way, but you know what, it worked, it worked. Get like that, and then into here. Hello. They have like a fake little mustache on. A little disguise. Okay, so do that again. Oh, this one's a cool one. Imagination. <laughs> That's always fun. So there we go, we got it. And I think mean, there's only one more paparazzi left around here. So I guess we will break all this open, kick that door open, and find the last one behind this little stall, I suppose. Maybe we'll break all that open too. Found ya. More jelly. So what can we do for this one? Just keep pretending to be a bird for some reason. That's quite the pose, quite the pose. Okay, one more time. And we got it, cool, so. You did it, Mr. Sponge. The security guard will let you pass now. What a picture perfect experience. I like their sunglasses, very cool. The director is at the end of the street. You cannot miss him. All right then, yep, I see them over there. We'll go catch up with them in just a moment. I wanna get that big bubble inside of the truck though, because those usually give us a good chunk, I think. We're at 4,360 now, so if I pick this up. Okay, give me time. That's still pretty good. Hi, right, Mr. Uh, I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. All right, and here's the director, I Squidward. That's it. A real karate king has to prove cat-like reflexes. I feel inspiration is about to strike. Whoa. I love good services. Those um, volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them. Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract. What, what? Oh, fine. Then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. All right, here we go. Karate King, the movie's continuing. Action. So we have to. How did he kick the crew? Oh, I hope I don't hurt him. <laughs> so I need to avoid hitting Patrick, but everybody else, we're karate kicking them. This is going pretty well, though. Whenever they pop up. Wait, no! Sorry, Patrick. Uh. It didn't seem like it penalized me for it, though. Maybe we'll have like a tally up at the end. Come on. Ooh, full combo. That was pretty good. Got them. Gotcha. That was pretty nice. You're not entirely useless as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next screen test is about to start. Go! That was pretty fun, actually. I hope we have more little mini games like that soon. In the meantime, though, reach the next screen test, which I think is right over there. So if there's not anything else I need to do here. Looks like just more bubbles and stuff and more jelly. What are you still doing here? Move your square pants to the next area. All right, well, we're moving our square pants then. Right over here, and it looks like there's plenty more enemies waiting for us. Okay, okay. Well, first, let's hop up here, grab some of this. Never quite tell if it's gonna lead to any kind of bigger secret until we really get there, so. Boom, got the karate kick. Then I just hit them again on the way down and get them defeated pretty quick. All right, well, Squidward really wants us to move forward here, so try not to delay too much, but whoa! 
Who's that? Another Never. limo. In this scene, your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent uh -oh. bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. Ooh, so a time event here. We need to save all of the townsfolk. Uh, Could be out some villain, dairy people under rubble. Who could have done this? It wasn't me, SpongeBob. I swear. Oh, thank Neptune. I never doubted you for a second, buddy. Okay, well, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I guess it's over this way. It'd be sort of hard to tell. I can't kick those. I think I can only kick those on the way back or something. Anyways, I do see these guys. Gotcha. To do what? Hide nuts for winter? Get real, SpongeBob. You never know. You never know. Um, so where are we going now? Oh, I didn't even see you. So let's go help out with that. And where is the next citizen? Right up. Thank you so much. This way, maybe. Can I get your autograph? Uh, sure. I mean, I got that one. So where are we going now? It looks like I could maybe go over here. Get this other citizen trap. Gotcha. They're happy about it. Oh, thank you. I could kiss you. Uh, maybe some other time, though. All right, see ya. And it wants me to go back over there. I'll do that in just a moment. It looks like we're finding more citizens. There we go. Hey, thanks for saving me. Let's do this again. All right, well, hopefully you won't need saving. Let's keep you protected for as long as possible. There's another one saved, though. I'm just bored. I can't believe you saved me. I mean, just look at you. All right, is that all of them, or are we missing one? We might be missing one, so let me go back around real quick. Oh, I didn't kick down this door when I had the chance. Maybe that would have been helpful. It's saying over there, but I got the person there. Huh, I wonder if I missed something. Uh, I mean, there could be more on that side, potentially. So I don't see anything else over here. Hey, if you get this rubble off me. I already I'll did, I saved that person. Uh-oh, it might be broken. I hope that's not the case, but uh, we'll look around for maybe another person around here, because I haven't gone this way. Aha, this could be something. I don't think we've done this one. There's no civilian in that one, though. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Let's help Please you out a little help. bit. I gotcha, all right then, so everybody is saved. That's good. I can't believe you saved me. I mean, just look at you. He said the same thing the other guy said. So I'm curious if there's any way up to those things. I don't think so quite yet. There might be easier ways to get around later on, because I'm not really seeing too much of a way to get up to those. So for now, let's reach the press area. Uh, is that, I think we gotta go through the sewer. Okay, let's go for it. Gotta make some pretty intense jumps here. These platforms do fall if we let them wait for too long. We need to open up that, jump over. Sticky sweet. Look we made it. All right, through the sewer, back Thanks up this way. Genius. Your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. Ooh, nice. So, show yourself to the press. Hi, guys. <laughs> they seem a little indifferent. Uh, he'll look like a cool karate master to as many people as we can. I guess over here, the walk of fame. Ooh, does Squidward have anything to say? What are you waiting for? Embrace the limelight. All right, don't mind if I do. We'll hop up here, karate kick that, and whoa, this is so cool. Whoa. So we're just beating up these balloons in slow motion. Everybody's watching. This is so neat. Slow-mo action movie. I believe in you, SpongeBob. Oh no, whoa, 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 hold on. Let's jump. Got it. As soon as I can, go for you. Okay, we're doing a pretty good job. And then one more right through here. That must be such a spectacle. Very cool, Karate King. So now we gotta get to the parking lot. I guess maybe it's time to go home or something. Oh, here's Cassandra again. Don't go method on me and disappear into your character. Remember why you're there. To get me more jelly. Uh, don't you mean to save Sandy? Right, of course. And also to save your squirrel friend. All right then. So, 
I'll explode that. And grab some of this, but we gotta go save Sandy, get some jelly. Free parking, nice. Not actually too many people parked here. You think that means it'd be all filled up? Or was it a cheetah? Whatever. Hop into the red boat and chase down your nemesis. But I don't have a driver's license. Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive and get on with it. Okay, so maybe we'll be able to ride a seahorse somewhere because we don't have a boating license. But there's gotta be a seahorse somewhere around here, right? Any seahorses on set? Huh. Oh, I could go up here though. Whoa, the fancy jumps on the little street lights. Oh, and maybe this will get us something super fancy. Yeah, there's a doubloon here. So cool. All right, definitely worth grabbing that then. Look at all the jelly here. Whoa, I love big secrets like this. Super satisfying. Okay, so if I can't open that up, I might as well. Does this blow them up? I guess not. I'll just activate it and run away. This might give me a bunch more jelly. Ooh, it really does. Almost a 5,000 now. Uh oh, couple of enemies here though. We'll deal with them pretty quick just because I can get around so fast now. There's a lot of enemies waiting for us though, so it isn't so simple. Sticky sweet. Roll back over, beat that guy up one more time, and then I see you over here. Gotcha? Gotcha. We're becoming a combat master though in no time at all. Same thing to you over here. And with two more over this way. I think after that there's just a ranged opponent over on the other side with the other gasoline tank. Okay, ready? Gotcha. A quick work of them. On to the next area. I don't see anything else going on here, so I think we're good just to keep going. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's like a, it's a squish bus. Oh no, it's pretty intense. And what's going on in here then? Whoa, it's the Ooh, unicycle. Lines. Comfortable seat, no slip pedals. Definitely has the cool factor. This is my ride, baby. Looks like fun. I almost forgot to mention, all the danger is real and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama. Oh no, Be careful SpongeBob, good thing you're wearing that helmet. Oh man, whoa, so we sort of get to switch lanes here. I'll stay on the right there to grab that. And can we jump? A we can. Bit. So, how to you get a cycle jump? Well, you, you press the jump button. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's go for it, let's go for it. So, oh no, whoa, oh, I didn't I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry, SpongeBob. Good to have a take two on that one. Okay, trying again. I just sort of got a little mixed up there, but. We'll just try to stay to you know each specific Ooh, lane. More jelly. So right at the edge of this, I'll just jump. Wow, and we stay up there for a good second too. So this guy drives like a maniac. Yeah, a maniac who loves barbecues. What a nut job. Okay, so we can jump over the normal boats, but the bigger vans, I don't think we can jump over. So we need to really plan out our jump there to be extra careful. These limos though, we definitely just jump over the full thing of that. That's cool. And what is that a little gear? Do oh, you know, that's our health. Gotcha, so if we take any damage, we'd lose some of the gear stuff. Now, if I hit this, I don't know if that would hurt me or not, so I'm just gonna avoid it, I guess. We haven't taken any damage so far though. Oh no, the big manure trucks. <laughs> They're honking at us. Very loud. Oh, we took some damage there, unfortunately. It's okay, we're almost there. Whoa, here comes the limo. So there was a certain order to hit there. Chase after the villain, get the dojo gate open. So what did they do? Gongs. Looks like we need to bang them in a specific order. Karate kick those gongs. I mean, they did. I gotta karate kick them. Oh no. Huh. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. Let's try this one. I'm not really making gong noises. I'm a little confused by that, but that did not quite work. So I think we need to maybe do them with the symbol. So we have that one there, and then this one. Okay, so what happens is we hit one, it lights up. So you can see I hit this one, it lights up. I hit this one, it lights up. So that's the right order so far. So let's try this one. It lights up one more time, and boom. 
There we go. I don't know why the gongs aren't making gong noises, but I'm happy to at least solve the puzzle. Let's run away from that really quickly. There's not anything else around here to really grab in terms of secrets. We'll keep it moving. Oh, there are more enemies out. We're just gonna walk around and crowd to kick everyone. We're doing really good in the game so far. I'm really happy with all the, the combat benefits we're starting to get. I think with that, I'm running through here. Even more enemies waiting for us. Oh no, run! Wait, <laughs> all the pictures too. So who's taking the pictures now? Is it more paparazzi? A citizen in need! Karate Bob to the rescue! If we have to fight those jelly bugs again, I hope we can use stunt men! Uh -oh. Okay, well I certainly wanna help. Whenever enemies pop up, I'm just gonna do what I can to get rid of them. Got one more over here. Gotcha. Will another wave pop up? Yes, it will. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit scary. I don't think we've used the karate kick against big guys, though, right? I don't think so. I don't know if we really even can, but I don't know. Whoa. Gotcha. And then one more karate kick should do the job. Get some, at least. I don't know. Here comes some more of that. Yeah, I don't think we can karate kick the big guy. Sort of a shame. But now it's just me and them anyway, so. Do your worst. Ow. Okay. Well, I did, said do your worst. I, I meant it like as in don't do well against me. Okay, now they're stuck. So we can just go like this. Get them pretty good. We know how to defeat these guys now. It's just a little bit time consuming. Come on, one more. They might try to spin at me this time. Let's see, let's see. We need to be on the ground. But then they start attacking us. Oh. Dodge that one. Oh, but now they're stuck. And we got them. Okay, you can come down now. Thanks. You're safe. I thought this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. Oh no. Poor guy. Well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. All right, so I guess maybe now we'll be able to see the villain for ourselves, because we haven't yet. A wild animal, huh? Sounds pretty intense. So, we'll get over there as soon as we can. This Zen garden is so calming. Ah, oh, you said it. Woo! Go Zen Garden! SpongeBob is so silly. Well, We've made it in. Talking cheese. You're not getting paid an exposure for chit-chat. If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics. Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress. Could I just use the elevator? No. And action. Ooh, so now we need to reach the dojo rooftop. I see another doubloon way up there. This is gonna be a bit of work, isn't it? So let's definitely take a look around and see what I can do. So, can I get up there? I guess not. That's gonna explode. I don't see exactly how to get over there, but it might be something from later. for later. You can see there's stuff way up there on the tippity top of even those buildings to get to. Lots to explore for sure, but I guess for right now, I'll grab some of this. I see the big bubble. I need to get that big bubble. There we go. I just like the sound effect. So, I think over this way, yeah, uh. is where we're supposed to go. But before we do, if I could get up here, is there anything fancy up here? Looks like there's a couple things. I think this is how we get to the doubloon. So I a jump over here way. instead, like that, kick off at this one, that one, that one, and boom, the balloon collected. That was a cool one. I like these little out of the box kind of secrets. We have to be pretty fancy to actually get to it. So with that out of the way, we have three doubloons in this area, which is pretty nice. Definitely wanna jump up here and be making our way to the rooftops. Okay, we're getting up into the clouds already. That is pretty intense. And we're starting something there's like a little starting line. So let's go deal with that then, if we can manage. That actually might be something for later. There's another one of those weird mystery buttons. Yeah, we don't have this hook Part thing. Part of being a stuntman is performing daring chases over city rooftops. You should try to beat your best time. It would look great on your reel. 
my best time. So I don't think I can do this right now because I don't have the thing to press that button. But we'll come back and try it at some point for sure. Oh, oh we do get the surf though. Here we go, this is always fun. Oh, here we go. So the surfboard only lasts for so long. Gotta be careful of that. Those are all exploding. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry. Here we go. Luckily we just start right back over here. So not too big of a deal. And right back up there. Just like this. Oh no, come on, gotcha. You two. There's more to get done over here. Gotcha. And an extra bit of underwear if we need it, which we sort of do, so. Definitely don't mind. I guess we're sort of going the long way around when it comes to actually getting to the, oh gosh. To the top of the tower? I thought we would just climb straight up it, but no, instead we gotta go all the way around. That's that hook thing. So, we've seen that in uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Oh no, ah! Be careful, be careful. Cause these don't last forever, these little surfboards. Let's see, wait for that, then hop on. Then I will just karate kick everybody out of the way. There we go, much better. Okay, so for these, this is where it gets really tricky. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Look at how far we're going. That is so exciting. Okay, so after activating that one, this one, and some easy jelly. I think I just want to these open, and I guess go over here. Whoa, it's like a wall jumping kind of deal. That's neat. I'm locking all sorts of different kind of platforming mechanics with this. And that arrow is pointing me that way. So I guess there really isn't anything else to find around here. It is a bit odd that it's like that. Could I make my way over there? No, I'm curious. I gotta go, I don't think so. So never know, there might be a secret on the other side of it or something. Grab this extra health. SpongeBob's feeling great, I'm feeling great. I think we're good to go. I do see, it looks like we're getting to where I was sort of scouting at before from below. Let's get you, knock this guy out. We're struggling a little bit. Much better, much better. And then same deal over this way. We are zooming through this right now, though. The proper karate master. Speed is an important element. I like these little inflatable platforms that we need to throw bubbles at, though. Ooh, how do I get over there? That's a lot of free stuff. Keep your friends close and your dodos closer. I don't get it. It's okay, Patrick. Okay, so what I think I need to do here, there's a moving platform behind that building. But if we wait for it to come back, I'm going to try to jump, jump, kick, and then jump again, and then glide, 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 glide. We got it. Okay, that was pretty close. And this seems like it's an extra area, but look at all the extra bubbles we get for it. So it is well worth it. Boxing champion trophy earn. Cool, so we're getting extra trophies and stuff too, so things are going quite well. Whoa, we gotta go in the big crane. Don't mind if I do. Hi, you're doing a great job. Okay, so we will just, whoa, ooh, don't wanna make too many mistakes there, but just gonna make my way down here, start karate kicking some people. That's good. I need to hit that with a bubble. Oh, that lowers the whole thing. Whoa, okay. Oh no, I don't know why the glide stopped. It was very weird, but I will try again. Wait, why is it going, to, why? Hey, you get back down here. Okay, so let's wait for a second. Maybe slow it down a little bit. Hit that button. While that is lowering, I'll jump over. I definitely want to get the underpants on this side, because I need the health now. But eventually it sort of undoes itself and raises so that we can get to the next one. Ooh, I'm thinking pasta? Uh-huh. I don't think that's the case, but I knocked them off. Okay, that works for me. Um, more jelly. I think that they're probably creating more buildings and stuff. Whoa, we gotta dodge between the claws. Uh-oh. 
gotcha. And gotcha. What's interesting is I don't really need to fight this guy, I don't think. I could just go around him and leave. Yeah, I might as well fight him. Go. Whoa. Ooh. Ah! No, wait, don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. That could have been bad. Oh, I didn't even get the chance to attack him. Weird. Okay. Stuck again. I prefer this move because it takes a lot less time. Okay. And finally got them. And that should at least give me some underwear, right? Oh, yeah, I guess not always. Usually, most of the time, only defeat that guy gives us underwear. Beat you two. Get over this way. See ya. It doesn't seem necessary to defeat enemies in situations like these. It's just, you know, if you want to. So we're getting brought all the way up here. Oh no, that one's, I thought we were raising. That one's lowering. That's so odd. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we need to wait for it to go back up. And we're almost there, the giant dome. Wait a minute, this dome looks familiar. Huh, I might have an idea about who we're gonna fight. What do you know? Let's see, let's go and hit this giant button at the tippity top of it. Ready, boom! Oh, we're here. Oh no. It's Ooh, Sandy. Look, it's Sandy. I mean, oh look, Sandy. <laughs> well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob and his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick stepping through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor. Cause I'm in a mood, and my mood is karate. Oh no. Nobody watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action. All right, here we go. We need to defeat Sandy in a very dramatic battle. All right, let's go for it then. I'm feeling better already. Oh, there she is, right? I was just running on the little wheel. Oh man, she's moving. I gotta move, I gotta move. She's gonna go right for us. Oh, close one. Where did she go? Oh, there you are. Can I karate kick you? Not quite, not quite. Oh, you know what? I think I need to get you to, okay, let's try that again. But if we could get you to run into one of the explosives, that might be what I'm supposed to do. So right over here, right as you start moving, we'll press the dodge button. Whoa, oh, that's gotta hurt. Can I get any? Damage on it. Wait, there we go. Cool karate kick. Make way for that jelly. Oh no. Looks like she has some reinforcements, so. Here, let's get rid of what we can then. She gotcha. There's two more over here. So get you and you. She doesn't seem to mind too much. Is there more? Oh, there is. There's one I missed over here. Okay. There you are. Nice. Ah, oh, she's swapping over. Uh. Oh, watch out! Oh man, that's intense. What do we do about this then? Whoa! Thing is bouncing all over the place. Am I supposed to like slam on top of it or something? That doesn't work. Okay, that does not work at all. Oh my goodness, that was damaging. Okay, here it comes again though. I think she's just gonna try to run right into us again, so. Whoa, there we go, we got it, we got it. So boom, karate kick, as many times as I can. That was great. I really wish I could get some extra health here because we didn't start the fight at full health, unfortunately. Oh no, now I'm down to one hit left, so this could end up getting really, really dangerous. Gonna do everything I can to not take damage. Okay, get over to you, same thing for this one, and I think that might be the last one. Uh-oh. Here come more bad guys, the bouncers! Watch it, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, they are moving. That hit me, I jumped over them. What are you talking about? That wasn't fair. I guess, do we have to start over? I don't think we have to start all the way over. Cause these enemies are out and about. They are really kicking my butt right now though. Let's get you. Oh man, jumped right over you. I think. Right over here, if I can just hit you, knock that over. Okay, now these guys are here, and they are going around real quick. I'm feeling better 
ready. Can I just dodge through them like that? I guess it might be what I'm supposed to do here. So far, not too bad though, but Sandy is gonna attack again. I'm ready for you though. There we go. Come on, come on. Boom, we got you. Whoa, Karate King. That was so cool. And that's a wrap on this film. Gonna win all the awards. Great job, SpongeBob. Uh, you okay? SpongeBob, SpongeBob, did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off, but that was actually fantastic. I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately. Light, camera, sound, from the top, people, and... Oh, and off we go. <laughs> Sorry, Squidward, but I guess we uh, are able to bring Sandy back with this one. So there we go, we did it. That was such a cool film. But now we're heading back to Bikini Bottom, and we have Sandy Stone all cleaned up. No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around. I'm glad Sandy and her weird house came back, but I want my house back too. I hear you, pal. Ooh, I bet Cassandra will help. She's the most trustworthy person we know. All right then, so that's great. We were able to help out Sandy, help her be a superstar like she truly is. No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around. Okay, that's great. So the first thing I wanna do for right now, oh, there's a character to talk to you here. I know I should be inside with our elderly residents, but they discovered this new radio channel and went crazy. Nothing will settle them down. I usually keep fortune cookies on me for emergencies like these. The soothing crunches are so calming. But unfortunately for me, the cookies have all disappeared amidst the town's chaos. Come on, Patrick, we can find those clairvoyant cookies. So I guess just like with Spot, there are fortune cookies to find. And I don't know if they're around the entire game or just around Bikini Bottom, but another thing we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for. In the meantime though, one thing I definitely wanted to do is check out the shop. So we have things like our costumes right over here, which I think we can just equip these at any point in time. These other ones I can't really access, but these we can purchase. So we have different things that we've earned up our jelly that we can use just to buy, like the underwear. Hey everybody, I ripped my pants. That's like 500 jelly, we can get that no problem. Um, we have sponge buck. This tail ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> All right then. And we get cuddly Bob. Pearl says I look totally coral. Boy Scout, a scout is never taken by surprise. And then some things, I guess we need more doubloons to unlock. So I guess that's how doubloons work, is they unlock different tiers of costumes. So that's always very cool. I think for right now we'll just keep the normal sponge as we explore around and we'll of course have different costumes and stuff as we find at New Worlds. But it was a lot of fun exploring Karate Downtown Bikini Bottom. And I don't know if we did everything. I guess we didn't find Spot's hiding spot. We didn't find the seven fortune cookies. Those are things we'll just sort of have to re-explore later on to find them, I think. That's just sort of how the game seems to work. But um, I'll definitely be on the lookout for them in general. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shape. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.